trying to tack out of the, the channel up here at Pitwater. We have white caps, I don't know if they're coming up. Predicted 15 to 20 today. I've still got full sail up. I've decided to fight my way out of the channel instead of motor. Whoa, it's been lean. Lean heavily, wind backs around, change direction, etc. etc. Um, I'm going to fight my way out into the middle there. I have to tack now or I'm going to get that one. Get these bullets coming in from north. Starting to come into... Sorry, it's probably very windy. Just trying to show off conditions, but... Uh, as soon as I pull my camera out, things go quiet. Very choppy. It's meant to be a westerly, but it, I think pit water's funneling it down from the north from up there. I don't know if you can see that chop. It's a hard, uh, hard work working to windward to get anywhere today. So I might only be going to Towler's Bay just over there for some lunch and some fishing. Because uh, I'm just going backwards and forwards between Scotland Island and the marina behind me. And we'll see how it goes. mud flat here at uh, Morning Bay as you can see the houses up in the background uh, you'd have to time your tides right if you were going to anchor here it does get to a point where you could if you were so inclined put a tent up the back there and I think I think Kevin stayed here because this seawall looks familiar to me and I think you can Roll your swag out up there if you had to. In an emergency, of course. But yeah, big mud flaps. We've got a very, very low tide today, so I'm sure this is that's exacerbated. I'm gonna walk up the river and see if the it is navigable. So that's the uh, western end of Morning Bay, and that's where the inlet would go up behind those mangroves. I'm standing in the middle of it, and it's like ankle deep at low tide uh you, yeah and i i can see that that's the same right across so low tide would be a no-go unless you wanted to go up there stay and wait for the next high i suppose just following the estuary up it's a little deeper here so i think if you got your boat in at a reasonable tide it will stay afloat if you anchored in the estuary there it's a nice little beach to visit um, I'm just gonna hover there for a moment just to take in all the rules and then that's just looking back the way I've come You'll probably see the houses through the trees there and here we come to the final to the end so this lagoon uh, goes probably about a hundred meters in and just gonna see if I can get a shot of that sea eagle. Wow. Or well, osprey, it's white. Cool. Uh, yeah, so that's the way we came in, or I came in, and um, that's that little beach that I was at before. So this is dead low. Promising. $10 Aldi tent pole that works well as a jib pole and I just wedge it back in there. I may bring up some centerboard in a minute. Every, every time I pull the camera out to catch one of my uh, blazing jib runs, the wind idle. 
Yeah, I'll catch one. We're doing all right. I wouldn't want any more sail up at this point. This is just comfortable for me. You can see, there's the wind chop I'm rolling with. understand the physics of it but I was advised you can raise your centerboard a bit and I've seen some heron videos where they they tilt the centerboard forward a bit I've rigged a line that goes forward to a, an eye bolt and back to a cleat there and I can set that at any angle I like and because I am just running under jib with the wind you know behind me slowly pulling that up and I feel it in the tiller. It's much lighter in the tiller now. I was fighting it before. That's always a good indicator of trim if the, the tiller just wants to just sit there. And uh, they're, they're rocketing along. They're rocketing along. Rocketing for a heron. Oh, look at the chop. That's coming. Gonna get another bullet here. We'll see what happens. It's very hard. To, to film in a dinghy, as you all know. Oh, here we go. A tip only, you just like, no panic. No panic, just bash through it. Do you guys think I'm in trouble? Probably not. <laughs> Evidence. You can fly in these conditions. <laughs> Bit of a watch and learn scenario. So there, I was up in that, uh, I was up there. And because the wind has officially turned west now, it's shooting out of this bay like a cannon across here, which is where that uh, wing foiler guy is that's why I had trouble putting a main up and I'm doing four or five knots just under jib and yeah very choppy out there now if I sorry to do a big pan but I'm gonna uh, I'm going uh, we're going down there I'm gonna be in the shadow of the island which will make for gentler conditions uh, I see I see a yacht over the other side there is making for a decent headway so we'll just see how this jib thing works out. But it got me out of trouble because it's white caps back that way. Come up on camera, it always buggers me. Up. Anyway, I feel I feel vindicated that I didn't put the main up. Uh, I have it rigged ready for the first reef, but I would have had a problem, definitely. You're feeling seasick, so am I. <laughs> Not really, but very rolly. The wind has really kicked up the chop. Kind of what I would imagine a confused sea to be. It's coming at me mainly from behind, but I think it's bouncing off the sides as well. We are getting bucked and rolled all over the place. 